Hi there, you are going to join me at the Big Goodwill. The Big Goodwill is located out on Lincoln Highway East, Route 30 in Lancaster. The music here gets very, very loud and then it's not, and then there's announcements and then it gets loud again. So I'm gonna go back and forth uh, because I did talk to you even though I was by myself. I did talk to you in some parts, but some parts the music is just way, way too loud that I, I can't let it uh, go. If you can hear snorting in the background, that's Indy. She decided to get up from her pre-bed nap. Bob, on your glass. These glasses look vintage to me. I like the shape that they made on the bottom, kind of a star shape. Look like there were five of them at a dollar, or maybe six, a dollar ninety-nine. And they had bundled these champagne glasses, which kind of surprised me because this Goodwill likes to price things individually. It was a little scary how they had them taped but I carefully walked away from them and moved on to this tiny little butter dish. I thought it was so cute. This pattern is either bubble or purple or something. Tommy from Vintage Kitchen showed Jocelyn and me how to <laughs> distinguish the pattern but I forget. This was neat, this glass, clear glass Cinderella slipper. I did take the time to Google Lens this. I love Google Lens. And um, it came up that it was a Cinderella slipper, but it wasn't a huge high price item, so I left it there. There was also this really cool artistic mermaid. I like it. Grosetti, it's a Grosetti mermaid. I like how it's simple. There's another. Obvious piece. Let's see. GM made that. That's cute. A little glass bunny. Or not a bunny, it's a dog. A little glass dog. Made in China. Greenbrier International. I think that is Dollar Tree. That's cute. Or $2.99. Okay, they That looks like Mermaido. <laughs> Mermaido dreams. I'm finding this uh, funnier than it should be because it looks like Mermaido. Mermaido dreams. Mermaido dreams. I'm not getting it. It's funny though. <laughs> Mermaido dreams. All right. Dream big, little one. Dance Bistro Christmas. Hmm. What does that one say? Oh, love you to the moon and back. This is like the catch-all area. A rolling pin. It's really light. Wait, it's nice though. Four ninety-nine. This area, like I said, seems to be a catch-all area. It, there's also an aisle in the very, very back of the store that people, I think, just put things on the shelf that they've walked through the whole store with and then changed their mind. But the past couple times I've been here, there have been some good things, so I do look at these shelves now. Aw, that's cute. These are cute. Those two. Made in Thailand. What's this one back here? Those are made in China. What's that one? Oh, it's a little uh, tart warmer. These are cute though. Those are sweet. That one and that one. That one's shy. That one's $9.99. He's heavy. He is Stain Master. What, like the carpet? Stain Master carpet? Huh. That's interesting. I wonder if it was decor for Stain Master. Stain Master carpet. What's this? This is a flower with no stem. Maybe it's a soap dish. Soap dish holder? What's this sign say? Trick or treat. Here's a nativity for $6.99. Uh, looks like your miss 
missing baby Jesus. Oh, here's a doll right here. She looks old. You look old, old Barbie. She is marked Made in Hong Kong on the back of her. Here is a cat dish. You have a little chippy right there. Don't microwave your cat, it's not safe. On another shelf behind this Avon box, there were some beer steins. They looked like the color of beer. Thought that was pretty interesting. There was quite a few of those. They were individually priced though. And then this pillow had milk and wine on it and I flipped it over and it said that. I thought, who would have, who would have that in their house? It's kind of mean, but I don't know. I don't really get the signs. This I thought was another sign, but the Cabernet Sauvignon was to hold your cork bottle, uh, cork bottles, the bo uh, corks from your wine bottle. So at least it did something, you know, it held something for you. This was a cast metal horse. It did have a label on the bottom, which is nice. It makes it easier to look up. This was, I believe, made in England, a dog, obviously. I, if I remember correctly, I did look this up but didn't really see anything that was like, hey, put this in your cart. They Look, they bundled this grouping of china, which was nice. Looks like a little single set of china. I wish they would bundle more. I think they would sell things through faster. And then there were these bookends. They were eagles with lights and giving you a look at the shelves. I was trying to give you a look at the shelves when there weren't people in the row with me. There were bags of seashells. I know that sometimes those can sell well. I think someone donated their bunny collection because there are quite a few bunnies in the store today. Here was a bag of cats. This was before my whatnot sale, so I knew I had a lot of cats already in my inventory. These had some age to them, but I really wasn't feeling it because I knew I had cats at home. <laughs> in here? Animal Farm. This looks like a leptin bunny. $2.99. Are you a leptin bunny? You look like it. White. Let's see, there's all kinds of things on here. White House. How each. Hmm. He would be fun. Ooh, there's a hair on him. He'd be fun to clean up. It looks like a fake leptin bunny. Here is some wood. Here's some art. Some art for $6.99. There's no one in this aisle, so that's why I'm showing you everything. There's another bag of bunnies. All right, pink is starting to play in the background, but look what I found. Found some praying hands. I believe these are worth 50 points and not their normal two points because it was a 50th anniversary. But then look, I, I found another one. I never found another set of praying hands. I knew this was my lucky day. So I knew I was up four points to nobody else. <laughs> this, I wasn't quite sure what it was. I saw some names on it of coins. I think it's a display, obviously, for your coins. See how I'm doing it too fast for you to see. But they have certain ones marked. Uh, there were some knobs missing. I'm sure Andrew would know exactly what this is and what it's for and who made it. But he was not with me. Um, this, see, you can see some Kennedy half dollar and then the year. So I don't know if it was part of a kind of a Danbury mint thing. And then here was the display case that went with it. I am not quite sure. I really wanted to know what was in here, <laughs> the frame. And then I looked over and then I won again. I could not believe it. We are now up six points, <laughs> for those of you who are playing at home. Only one book end. So I decided to put them together for someone else to come by and be in the know about the cutoff praying hands game and uh, win three times. <laughs> and then look, it's up here too. <laughs> Totally winning. Look at that. That's awesome. It's a squashed face. Look, it's pinched. <laughs> That's cool looking. Oh, I had something going on here. 
something going on there. But it's neat though. It's pinchy. They were actively restocking, and so I did see this hobbyist piece, this bunny rabbit, and I do put this in my cart. I did wheel it around for a little bit, but I uh, will tell you later what I think about the rabbit. And then the rest of the items on the cart, I was checking to see if there's anything really good in, um, on them, and then they had an orange aisle on this end cap here. Here were some more bunny rabbits. They look like they were bookends, and then I was looking in the back, that was plastic. I thought they were glass. And then I found a little shaker. It was marked Otagiri. There was only one. I wish there had been two. So I did not get that. And then that was just a lid. That's a hobbyist piece. And the cracked eggs do not sell well for me. There's it's country. There's a sign. Uh, cracked eggs don't sell well for me. So I don't really pick them up anymore. I have sold this brand before, and I think it was the Westies. This is in really, really, really good condition. It's super, super clean. There you can see I changed my mind on the bunny. And then I was super excited about this, Jim Shore, but uh, Wilma, unfortunately, was broken in many, many places, and that's probably why she's still on the shelf. That's sweet. Where there's God, there is no need. That's sweet. Oh, it's Lego, Japan. This looks like it's Minecraft. Oh, there's a bird. What's this bird? Aw, that looks like a card someone put in a frame. Let's see this tile. See this sign, all these signs. Okay. Too many signs. Okay. Whoa, that's heavy. That's neat though. Okay, there's too many things. Family. This is what this aisle looks like. Oh, that's cool. The menorah. Beauty instead of ashes. Ten dollars. That's cool. Holy Land gifts. Someone made that. Right. I like that. That's neat. All right. Back to the eagles. $2.99. Those are nice eagles. That's a nice one back there. Let's see. Those are neat. They're made in China. This one. That one's also. Let's see the schwan. $2.99. I'm looking swan and this guy. He's $9.99. Made in Japan. I didn't bother looking up this glass. I picked it up because it reminded me of Jimmy for some reason and Burt Reynolds movies and I thought it was neat. I liked how it has all the CB jargon on it. I think it's something Jimmy would have picked up if he was with me and that's the reason why I bought it. I always think of Yvonne of Yvonne of Thrifty Rich. Whenever I see smiley face mugs, that one was made in China. There was a bag of bears. So I always like to look at the bag of bears. This I thought maybe was Avon. Um, not quite sure if it was and then in the back they had oh I was staying away from that toothbrush holder and the back they had this piece of pottery but they also had this stamper and it didn't have a dates on it, it had numbers on it and I it, it was marked on the handle so I did look it up it is a store stamper for pricing items Goodwill had it priced for three dollars it didn't have it wasn't a date so I didn't really think anyone could really use that so I left it there uh, so I did not get it but it was still neat to see and then back to this bag of critters there were bears there were some resin bears um, some home home co bears so I didn't really uh, decide to take those there were some uh, doo-doo bags here and that was a good deal for three dollars but we don't use them we just reuse our grocery store bags this is uh, Mine was in the original box. Yes, 
and see it it um gives off a really nice reflection the light what's this oh <gasps> it's heavy gosh it's like solid clay wow that's a door stopper some more art $2.99 from 07 I think this goes with it. Yep, yep. Both pieces. <laughs> this Goodwill, I think, is still keeping the colors because here we're obviously in the blue aisle. This bottle grabbed my attention right away. It is marked Made in Belgium. It had some bubble bath soap in the bottom of it. It is all clean now. It's in really, really great shape. I had to use both hands to take the cork off or the decanter top off, but I really like the style of it. And then they also had some plates over here that had been run many, 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 many times through the dishwasher. Then I realized how close I was and it was hard for you to see what the plates look like. So then I kind of stood back a little bit so you could see them. It was a shame. At first I thought they were airbrushed, that there was a design and then I realized they had been overly washed in the dishwasher. That's why you shouldn't wash Pyrex in the dishwasher because it will wear it out over time. And they had a set of handmade pottery mugs. And then this little dish was neat. It was neat that it was in the shape of a violin or a cello or a viola, all of those, but it had a repair to the neck of the instrument. It has a crackle, uh, crackle glaze in the middle. It's always so neat to find little trinket dishes like that. And then here's a cute little owl, and I, it's made of stone, and I think it's pretty. And I like how it's his eye. Look, you're going to see his eyes. His eyes are a little crooked. I thought it was very sweet, so I decided to take the little owl with me. It's a ladybug. For Domenico. Kind of. Some frogs. Damn. Oh, it's a bank. That's kind of adorable. Is there anything on his nose? He's cute. What's this guy here? A little crack right here. No, is that a little crack? I'm not sure. That's funny. The apple trinket. A basket. Alright. This aisle. $3.99 made in China. That's pretty. Oh. Ooh, what's here? Let's move this out of the way. That's down there. Move that over here. And we can get to it. Let's see, move that there. There we go, finally. This is Peggy Carr or Sin Stricker Stricker Stricker. I just have to take a picture. I saw it at the very last moment, right here. Uh, you can't see it, let's see. Can you see it right there? There's the signature. Right there, I believe I promise it's it. Here is this aisle. Since no one's here, we can look at it together. There's a uh, oh, some marigold. That's very shiny. Here's your purse. I left my purse. Chickens and roosters. Panama City, Florida. 
and a cookie jar. I don't like packing up cookie jars. This is very shiny. Nope, something. Here is a glass broken lobster for five dollars. Oh, look at these. <laughs> Legs. Legs. Who remembers these? I do. <laughs> That's cute. A little shaker, mason jar. Is that a trinket? No. Watch for something for five dollars. The white is growing. Let's see. Bundle of dishes, that's nice to see. Oh, it's in a pond, they're old. There's a whole bunch of sets of those. There's some uh, napkin rings. Ooh, it's French. They're made in Japan. I'll have to look that up. There's a crown. What are these? These are Imperial China. Okay. Maybe these lamps. They're twenty dollars a piece. This one has damage to it. It's neat. They're more modern. They're nice though. Pretty. And they have an air fryer toaster oven. How much that is. They move the Christmas aisle. Well, let's go down since we're here. These are uh, popular. This one has a lot of wear. Um, I don't know. It has, I don't know. Those can be good, but I'm going to leave that for somebody else. We used it for our um, rinsing our paintbrushes when Jenny was little. So I guess they moved the Christmas over here. See anything you want? Here's this is more art. Art for art's sake. What is that? That is art. What is that? <laughs> Flowers? Maybe. Whatever you want it to be. You buy it and then it's yours. This is neat. This Margeline Bastin lamp. I might look that up. I know some of her stuff sells well and that's that's a really nice shape. It's this name right here. It's Hallmark. Let's look that up. I was about to look it up when I got distracted. I saw this old shaker, and here's a bird shaker. It has a little chip on its beak. Oh, there's two of them. And a pig. Oh, oh there's two of them. I probably shouldn't make that, <laughs> that noise. When you don't see me make that noise, it's probably disconcerting, but I'm, I'm sighing, groaning, and happiness. So there's two bluebirds. One has a little chippy. Oh, and this one has a chippy, too. All right, those have too much damage. Okay, we'll leave that for somebody else. All right, back at the task at hand. We're going to look up this. So I saw this um, Country Kins Barton Bunny. And it's kind of just a ceramic bunny rabbit. And uh, Goodwill must know something I don't know because it's uh, $13 for this bunny. You are worth $13. In the eyes of goodwill. Another little bundle piece. Right. Easter and Christmas all in one. Noah's Ark for $10. Ooh, that's heavy. Aw, those are cute. Oh, she's pretty. A little fairy. Made in China. That sweet little photo holder. Yeah, that looks like a Boyd's. This looks like it's Boyd's. What are you? Are you Boyd's? No, you are Sasha and Nicholas. You look like Boyd's. Oh, Christmas, what's this? There's a um, McDonald's. 
Eagles, somebody, Donovan McNabb, $10, bobblehead. Hmm. Nice little kitty cat. And then the last thing I saw at the Big Goodwill was this St. Joseph and Baby Jesus figurine for $1.99. And then I decided to go next door to the bins just to look around. And at the very, very last moment, I was channeling Kate from Follow That Bug Vintage. Look at what I found. I was so proud of myself for finding the kitschiest thing in the bins. Yes, I did get the pantyhose. <laughs> You saw the sold comps. Here is everything that I picked up on this recent trip to Goodwill. A big thank you and a big hug of a virtual hug of gratitude for all of those of you who joined me at my recent whatnot sale. I am beginning to recognize names. I'm having return customers and return viewers, which is always so much fun. Uh, we were talking about our dogs and cats and dog names, and it's just a fun time. I am enjoying myself. I hope you are too. I'm going to have another sale this Thursday instead of Friday at 7 o'clock. I sure hope you can join me. This one might be for sale. I'm not quite sure. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure and like and subscribe if you did like it. I hope you're having a great day and, is, and enjoying yourself as much as Susie was enjoying herself in all of the shopping bags. Take care and I'll see ya. Thank you.